You know, um, a lot of folk uh, watching boxers always are concerned about their health and their well-being and suppose they get injured and suppose my son get injured. What, what uh, kind of help, immediate help is he given? And then the question is ringside physician because that's your job. Exactly. Tell us exactly what do you do to protect uh, uh, the, uh, the life of a, ch of a child or individual that's boxing. Right, right. Well, my responsibility as a ringside physician is to screen out for pathology. Um, mainly muscle skeletal, but we also look for the neurological symptoms. Mm -hmm. uh, before anyone, any boxer can step into that ring, I must perform a thorough exam. Mm -hmm. And before each event, each boxing tournament, they have a physical. Even if they had a, a physical the week before, they still must have a physical the day of, mm -hmm. moment, you know, before the boxing event. So all of these fighters have been checked out by you? That's correct. What right. we do is there is a process is a procedure. There are bylaws that are on the books that must be followed. Mm -hmm. We have to do a weigh-in. They must weigh in, and there are uh, a criteria based on uh, how many pounds they're allowed, right. and that's decided before their uh, weight. Um, sometimes you have to be on mark, meaning mm -hmm. if your weight class is 132, you must be 132 or a little bit lighter. You can't be greater than 132. Some right. tournaments they allow you to go maybe a half a pound or a pound heavier. That this, that is is up to the the individuals who are participating and putting on the event, the hosts. Now, uh, can you have a fight without a physician? Absolutely not. Uh, that's mm -hmm. part of the bylaws. You must have a physician at ringside. Okay, now during the fight, during the fight, what are you looking for? Okay, during the fight, I'm looking for uh, any changes, uh, behavioral changes. I'm looking at the, uh, the dynamics of the individual. I'm looking at the body language. Um, mm -hmm. I'm looking for changes. You can see that as the boxer fatigues, you're going to see that their, uh, their reaction time changes. Uh, besides the obvious being hit in the face and they're having a nosebleed or a major cut, uh, so my responsibility is to make sure if they do cut, can they continue? Uh, but those are the obvious, uh, you know, changes. I'm looking for the subtle changes. That's the neurological changes. And my job is to step in. I have the power and authority to stop a, a match, right. uh, you know, about if I deem that the individual is uh, not safe and mm -hmm. cannot protect himself mm -hmm. or could be himself, the boxer, because they're both male and female that participate. So uh, I will look for signs and symptoms of changes, neurological changes and changes in the muscle skeletal system where they right. cannot protect themselves anymore. Right, right. So actually, uh, the, the fighters are protected. Yes. Well, yeah. um, before we even get to right. uh, into the ring, right. each bout it's um, slated that these boxers are matched. Mm -hmm. They are matched for, by weight, but also by their skill level and the number of events they've had up leading up to that. Mm -hmm. We're not going to put someone in the ring and compete against someone who hasn't competed. To, against someone who's had maybe 20, you know, bouts. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, Skill-wise, they're not a match, right. and that would be dangerous. So mm -hmm. we're going. We have clerks mm -hmm. that are trained. They are certified. Everyone here that's part of the United States Amateur Metro Association. Um, it's the Metro Division that is New York City and, and upstate New York. You know, just a little bit around Newburgh. Right. That's the cutoff, right. all the way out to Long Island. Um, all certified through United States Amateur Boxing Association, and they are taught how to screen out and to pre you know prep and prepare f matches. Right. Okay. Well, I think this is a lot of information, certainly <laughs> as a pastor and as a concerned citizen and, and a family member. Right. We want to know that you're here. Right. And uh, thank God that you're here to make this match. Well, thank you. Uh, uh, you know, successful. We always say safety first, and for me, it's student athletes. Mm -hmm. Where someone will say athletes, I say student athletes because most of these children and I, their children or adolescents or young adults, they're still in school. They're in uh, middle school, uh, middle, uh, junior high school, or they're in high school. Right. So they are students first and they're learning a discipline. Mm -hmm. And the discipline they're learning is to become dedicated. Mm -hmm. They learn determination. Uh, they learn about diet. And this right. is something we covered in a boxing um, right. fitness through boxing a couple right. of years ago. Good. It still good. applies. Very good. I want to thank you for answering those questions for the concerned families. Thank right. you. Thank All you. Right. All right.
My name is Benny Roman. I'm from New York Kids Fitness. I'm a volunteer coach over there. We over here participating in the world class Detroit versus New York. We just lost a close decision with my man over here, Mr. Christian Bermudez, out of New York Kids Fitness. We getting ready to go to ringside to represent uh, the senior division at the 119 and uh, ringside, the world championship. We located out in Ridgewood, New York, 1630 Wearfield. There's a kids fitness center, and you're more than welcome to come. All right? Freeport, PAL. That's right. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks man. You gotta throw punches, man. Dr. Tommy O, your host to Ask Dr. Tommy O. Tonight was the best show, best competition, best event that I've ever contributed to by providing medical support. Now I've been doing this for the past seven years in New York. The show is called Detroit versus New York. This is the second annual competition. Phenomenal bikes. There was nine bouts in total. Each one non-stop energy. I hope you guys experienced what I experienced through the TV. This is it. Please, I always say, 
If you're watching the show and you're saying, I wish I was there, you got to be a part of it. Call Bishop Burkett and find out what the current events is because there's something always going on with, through the church as well as my events, community outreaches. So without further ado, I want to thank Bishop Burkett for giving me this show, the Exoc Tommy O Show, as well as I'd like to thank uh, World Class Boxing Jim for hosting this annual event, Detroit versus New York. Absolutely phenomenal. If you weren't here, I wish you were here just to feel the excitement and the energy. Again, God bless. Stay alive with Church Alive.